Locals gather to watch their VP candidates face off tonight. NBC 33's John Fairbanks has reaction from voters in both political parties. Local Democrats and Republicans were glued to their TVs. The reason? To catch the first and only vice presidential debate before the election. The stakes were high, and McCain supporter Chuck Fontenot says Sarah Palin came through. I think Sarah Palin's really getting the point across. I think she's well prepared for this, and I think Joe Biden uh, is just saying the same old thing he's always been saying, and that's pretty much nothing at all. Fontenot says the hours of preparation paid off for the Alaskan governor. But I think she's responding really well to the questions and giving some answers with real substance. In College Town, Obama supporters gave Senator Joe Biden the thumbs up. He is bringing a wealth of knowledge, and and I think that Obama said he wanted somebody who'd question him and confront him and make him stay straight. And I feel like Biden will do that with his experience. But the VP debate wasn't just on the screen. Sometimes questions will be asked and she doesn't answer that question. It's like she answers, she gives an answer of something that she was taught. So, But I think that's her strategy, too. I mean, um, I mean, see, yeah, yeah, so we, don't, we don't agree on everything. But. Yeah, that could be. Ratings for this face-off are expected to be higher than the first presidential debate. The reason more people watch TV on Thursday nights. Reporting for Baton Rouge, this is John Fairbanks. Back to you in the studio.